Hello and welcome back to Hollow Knight with myself, Hollow. And as you can see, I am still a stinky, stinky little knight. And I need to change this charm and a couple of charms around. Maybe try something new. We'll see. But welcome back to a brand new episode. I hope you're excited. We're continuing our little story and we have some little errands to begin with. We're going to go to Dirtmouth, which we're actually right at now, and go have a talk with a few NPCs. Apparently there might be some new dialogue or maybe even some updates in the shops. Uh, and obviously I have a lot of geo, as you can see, over 10,000. So I kind of want to make use of that. We're going to go ahead and go up to the massive mountainous area at the top left of the world. Um, there is a DLC thing that's happened to do something called the Grim Troop. And about 10 people every single video I've uploaded since the DLC was released told me to do that so I'm gonna do that today but first I want to say thank you to Thanathor and also fully 3d for these two little Hornet creations two different styles of that beautiful character and I really really like the coloring on the fully 3d picture coloring adds so much to an image um, but is very difficult to understand and learn like if you actually look at the shading even on the actual like little pink cloth that she's wearing at the edges. It adds a lot, and I really appreciate it. So thank you, both of you, for your awesome art, and thanks for uh, hanging out in the Discord and sharing your talent with us. But other than that, welcome to a new episode. Welcome back to Dirtmouth. She seems still pretty tired of his f faff, you know, his lies. Oh! Haha! <laughs> I see you've noticed my stench. <laughs> Can you smell something? Suddenly a horrid stench in the air. I swear, a town usually smells much nicer than this. Please accept my humble apology. It's me that stinks, mate. I'm sorry. Alright, we gotta change this goddamn jam, man. I'm actually gonna try Weaver Song. It creates Weaverling companions. I'd like to see what that actually looks like. Oh, oh look at them. Ooh. Oh, they're kind of creepy. Look at them. Do you say anything about these guys? No, no, no. Apparently, you're just not interested in them. All right. Let's go to the shopkeeper. See if he's got anything new going on. Maybe some new dialogue. I love the way this fawn in. Hello, Sprint Master. You like it? It's a recent addition to my collection. Handsome thing, isn't it? Holding it lets you run around quickly and tirelessly as though you were young again. Uh, uh so I'm told. <laughs> So you've been keeping this this entire time, have you? And now that I've, I guess I've activated like the three different things and then he's taught me the final thing, it's gonna allow me to buy his little charm that he keeps for himself. Probably helps him since he's so small, it'll make him really agile. What do you got to say though? Con -con. How are you travel, Snail Master? As time goes by, I'm sure you'll only grow stronger. If you see fellow Nail Masters again, tell them I carry them in my thoughts always and that they should come by. <laughs> I thought it was going to be come by and say hi or something. No, they should come and buy something from their old teachers, a mark of respect. You swine, man. I like that, though. Yeah, I want to go see the, the free um, nail masters, uh, the people that taught me the nail arts, because I'm sure that they have uh, probably some new dialogue now that I've found them. About 10 charms to go, and then we've got them all. While we're up here in the Howling Cliffs, uh, going to go see our nail master friend and also go to the far left, I'm going to go ahead and read something real quick because we kind of forgot to do so and I saw it a second ago and I was like, oh my god, that's some good information right there. The Traitor Lord. Check it out. Deposed Lord of the Mantis Tribe, so formerly the leader, <clears throat> embraced the infection and turned against his sisters. Wow. He's like the older brother of the three that we fought that paid respect to us. Um, so the former leader, but he likes the infection. I, f I have felt that desire, the desire to take the infection into myself, to become stronger and more powerful. These thoughts haunt my dreams during the darkest times, a false hope, but it can burn so brilliantly in one's mind. So wow, the infection that's happening throughout Hollow Nest, though many that are, you know, infected, that take on the infection, they do so willingly because they know it'll make them stronger. They know it'll be like a, a thing that'll make them feel s stronger and fulfilled, right? But at the cost of their own body, you know? They, they give up sentience, essentially, to become stronger. And they don't realize 
that they're going to lose themselves to get that power, essentially. And it's interesting to think about that while we look through all of these many, many infested characters with their little orange. And then this disgusting shit. <laughs> Alright, so he took upon that that infest that infestation, you know. He 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 gave up and sort of submitted to it. Anyway, let's go see the nail master. I wonder if he has anything new to say. Given that he is the one at the other end of the world, compared to that of the one at the bottom right that, you know, says, oh, he hates me and I don't feel bad about him or whatever. They're like rivals or something. Uh, and then also the fact that I've seen the master now. Hey. That nail art. The dash slash. Learned from my brother Oro, was it not? Literally what I was just talking about. So, he's still alive then. Hmm. Still haven't forgotten what he owes me and I never will. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't bother you with such things. I'm happy that you're able to train under another nail master and grow stronger, my pupil. Ah, so my brother Shio has taught you his nail art, the Great Slash. How lucky you are to have trained with him. So there is some respect. It's just Mato and the other one that seem to have an issue with one another. Shio and I were very close when we trained together under the Great Nail Sage. He often spoke of becoming tired of the nail arts and wanting to try something new. Yeah. I'm glad to see he changed his mind. Can you use to bear proud title? Bear the proud title of the nail master along with me. And finally, believe before you leave, rest and meditate with me for a while. You can please always walk. Oh, I thought he was going to talk about his master. Apparently, not yet. Just thinking about Shio, the good one. How fair you in that green kingdom of thorns you call home? I think of you every time I raise my nail. Do you ever close your eyes and remember the time we spent together with Oro and our master? I like to think you do. I'm sure he does. Those two seem close, unlike Oro. But let us now travel to the far left side of the region. Something has appeared out here where I can't travel any further left. I must trigger an event. Apparently. Traveling from the waste, just like I did, all the way out here. Should be something. Huh. I'll look around a little bit. Now, as far as I've been told, no king, no mind release. Um, as far as I've been told, it's like you need to go over here and sort of activate something for later. So maybe me just going there at the edge, activate it. Maybe I did it wrong. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, if you have any information, maybe just let me know. Um, but hopefully, the people who've been asking me to go over there now are a little bit sated, at least. That I've done that, but I don't know if I've done it right. Yeah, I'm unsure about that one, but either way, hopefully I did the right thing. Next, on our little list of adventures and things that we want to do today, we need to go to the resting grounds and have a look around. Now, the... Traitor Lord had a son, and there was a grave, and we were unsure about that. And to learn more about that, we actually need to go to another area of graves to discover, I guess, more to that story, a little bit of information. Maybe the traitor's son was part of why he decided to betray them. Not just this sort of desire, the infection sort of instills in people. So we can drop down there. We do want to go down there. Something down there. There was an NPC that we could think about, that we could find their thoughts. The one that kept giving me... I give them Geo, and then they would just give me garbage. There goes. Two or three of them defeated now. So, logically, it should be with all the graves here. There's a drop down there, that's natural. This is the, yeah. Oh god, yeah, right, hold on. Curse to those who turn against the king. There was a guy here, wasn't there? Think about it. We defeated a guy, one of the first spirits we defeated. It was a little boss fight. He, he was a traitor to the king. And now that I think about it, there aren't many traitors in this universe. Maybe this was the the son. Zero. 
A lingering dream of a fallen warrior. Execute for crimes against the king. A life defined by tragedy and triumph. A death marred by sorrow and regret. A spirit burdened by sins and memories. Better to wander the world than be cursed with glory. Zero. Hmm. I mean, it links up a little bit, right? But I feel like I'm stretching, like I'm going, okay, these two things sort of collide, these two things kind of make sense, fit together, but there's no direct obviousness to it. There's no, like, actual reference to it. It's just kind of a theory with some things that sort of fit together. But I'm not seeing anything about this traitor anywhere around here currently. Well, let's drop down then into the underground section. It's a lot creepier and gross down here. Down here, we want to find any secrets. Back when I first came here, I wasn't anywhere near as good at uh, finding secret doors and such. And uh, there should be something down here, apparently that's of interest to me. So, we're gonna try break some walls. We're gonna push ourselves against walls as well, you know, because sometimes you just walk through. Is that one where I jumped that? No. There, look. Yep. Yeah. Right there. Yep, yeah, found something. And there appeared to be a light up here. Maybe an exit? Yes, an exit. Where are we now? Oh, somewhere entirely new. Thank you for the tip, guys. God, there's so many secrets in this game. I love it. Look at this. A random building and a bench. So we can reveal this area conveniently. How convenient. Check it out. It's pretty big. And the secret on either side doesn't look like it. Looks like it's just a room or a building. Hidden away, tucked away. And have a quick think about this fact. This building is actually very hidden. The only way to get to it is by finding a secret entrance in a secret area under a grave. <laughs> so, yeah, whoever this is, whatever is going on here, this is really hidden from the world. Are you alive? Oh. Grey Mourner, what the fuck? Ah, Mihon. This world, this cruel, sinful world. Why does she wake? Why does she perish? Persist, even. Ah, Limur. You could not know of tragedy as complete as Chase. True lovers stripped apart. Two worlds that could not meet. Is that something to do with the lover's key thing? And now, Melid Lover. Dead so long in time, dead so far away, buried, Moina? Aye, he's talking to herself. Amongst its hateful kin, that did deny I union, that did reject Chase outsideness. Right, so you're a weirdo. <laughs> you're a weirdo. And you wanted to get married to someone else, someone in the kingdom, and it was shunned. Right, and you mourn the loss of your lover, I guess. But why was the lover killed and you were shunned? Did you hide here or did they send you away? She doesn't suppose. Nah, hello. Nah, hello. Could she ask? Could she burden? Limur, wouldn't you? Couldn't you? Really old dialect. Deliver gift? Deliver gift to her grave. The gift is maybe small, but the trek is long. She rests amongst her kind near our queen's lush refuge. Gift is small. Trek is long. Rests among her kind near our queen. Right, so it's in the queen's gardens. I think it's someone who's died. Do you think it's the traitor's child that they're speaking about? Take a gift to the, the, the grave? That was in the Queen's Gardens, right? And someone told me to come here about the traitor. This could be it. 
Would such a thing be done? Che asks perhaps impossible things, mad things, for Lemur to take up such quest would be a kindness Chi has near forgotten. I'll do it. Delicate flower. Rare boon you grant Lemur. It will be Chi's last request. After this, never shall Che lay burden on another. A sacred flower is the offering. It is a rare and delicate object. One of a kind. You must cherish it. And you must act as though it were your own heart. If you were to get hurt while carrying it, or did attempt... Or did... Or did to attempt ride these jolting transit beasts, it would forever be destroyed. Oh. My. Word. I'm not allowed to take any fast travel, and I'm not allowed to get hit once. Her grave lies in the middle of the queen's overgrown estate. It is surrounded by her kind, who will not look kindly on your trespass. Take care, Lemur. My hopes I place upon you, and my fervent wish that this small solace may come to pass. I have to not get hit and walk the whole way. Her grave lies in the middle of the queen's old retreat. A far journey from here and roads between a fraught with beasts. Safe tiding on your journey. My heart does flutter to feel such kindness from so tiny a creature. Ah, oh, you jerk. Oh, Neminu. Nails and claws. Why must it be so? She speaks in riddles even in her own head. Well then. Let's have a look at the item at least, I guess. Check out the charms, by the way. Oh, it counts as a charm, that. I didn't realize. Cannot be equipped while it's a fragment. Right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven charms to go. Way less than I thought. And then we got all of them. Look at that. While we're here, we're going to change the charms around. Uh, Weaver Song's not that useful. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put on Fragile Strength because I goddamn want it. Uh, we'll take Mark of Pride off, put Fragile Strength on, and we'll put uh, Long Nail on. Okay, so now we have more damage than we've ever had before. We still have a compass and we have quick slash on top of that. We're like the ultimate melee build right now. Fantastic. We have to make it all the way there without getting hit once though. And we can't fast travel. And we can't... We can't take a stag beetle. Maybe we can take the tram though. Can we do that? Anyway, let's look at the item. This delicate flower, given to you by the Grey Mourner in the resting grounds, she's asked you to place at the grave of her mantis lover in the Queen's Gardens. 100% confirmed, I was right. Um, it's that, it is this grave that we've got to go back to. The flower is very fragile and will be destroyed if you take damage or ride the stagways, but it doesn't say anything about the trams. So let's have a look at the map, let's work this out together. If we traverse this area here, get through there, take the tram from the resting grounds, through to the forgotten crossroads and we go up and under and head left into the green path through the green path we make our way to the queen's gardens through fog canyon is that the best way to do it fog canyon's got all that electricity and stuff and it's probably gonna get hit that's maybe a better idea to go above fog canyon and go up from above like that yeah, I'm gonna try that. Near the beast, actually. We could go visit the beast on the way, maybe. This is a tough one, guys. This is gonna be really difficult for me. We gotta give it a go, though. Oh, God, they even respawn down here. And they're ambushers as well. Right, no hits taken. Oh. There's a bat up here, right? Yeah. Oh god, I nearly messed up. Immediately. I didn't even need to go up there. Okay, okay. I think a lot of magic is going to be required for range on this this journey. First things first, get me out of there. Ugh. God. Okay. Can't take a stag beetle. So we have to go left to the tram. Now, I'm sure I'll cut a lot of this out, but the intenseness of this, I can just feel it weighing down on me. So I want to show some of this journey. Flower, are you still okay? Did I mess up or no? It looks fine. It looks completely fine. 
Goddamn delicate flower, man. Right. As far as it'll go. We need to go... Yeah, I'm going to say under. Because there's a way here that's blocked off. And I don't remember where it is. But there's an infect infestation that blocks it off. Play it real, real slow. Guys. Real slow. Every enemy... I have to give, like, a lot of respect. I had left. Oh, God. Right, those ones blow up. I need magic for those. Looks like I took out a few here. Oh, God. These guys are really quick, right? Alright, we're hitting them down in two hits. <laughs> no! <laughs> forgot that they explode and I realized half a second too late. <laughs> Fuck. The flower's all destroyed. God damn it. Given to you. Been destroyed and now worthless. I'm sorry. Alright, look. We'll try this again. Can you give me a new one? I fucked up like so fast, dude. Uh, uh, oh! <laughs> Chase sacred precious. One of its kind flower ruined. Chase, oh no. Oh no. Denied her final gift. Such suffering for Chase, such misery. Chase thought she could bear no more. <laughs> I thought I had, it was like one of those missions where you only get one chance. And I fucked it up so hard, so dumbly, immediately. But no, she's got more flowers. But Lemur, this one is just equally sacred, equally fragile. Oh my god. I'll try again. I'm sorry. <sighs> then this new sacred one of its kind flower shall, Che shall give you. As Che won before, it doesn't become precious as one's heart while being held. If you get to get hurt again while carrying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I fucked up. Don't look at me like that. I fucked up. I know I did. Stay away from the body. Okie dokie. All right, all right, all right. We, we got this this time. Uh, <laughs> just, I, I thought I only had one chance as well, though. That's the funny part. All right, we're one hit in these mother truckers, which is why I've got fragile strength on. We need to go up a little bit. Just, I'm just, I'm not taking any risks. If I can avoid a risk, I'll avoid it. Up and to the left through here. There's that wall I was talking about where it's blocked in. Oh, God. Right, right, right. we got to get through here and just keep going left. Don't get hit. Just don't get hit. All right. Okay, another one of these guys. Come attack me. Come on. That's it. Body's going to blow up. Just gonna avoid conflict if I can. Just take time. Okay. Don't even need to go that way. Never mind. It's fine. Oh, this is really intense. You know what? I'm probably gonna end up showing a lot of this. Did it die? It did die. Beautiful. Okay. Patience is key here. Patience is key. Oh, no. That one's at a bad angle. Yes! <gasps> no! Ooh. Okay. Jesus. Alright, making good progress. Making good progress. Next up, we got a big room that we got to traverse through. we got to get to the green path, right? Let's just have a quick look again. We decided to go through the green path and go from above. Yeah. Stay away. Stay away. Don't come near me. Don't look at me. There's another one up there. We have to go up. I'm scared. Oh. It was kiting me. I had, I had the fear of God in me there. A fear of God. Okay. Next up. We need to go up. 
Next up, we need to go up. Haha. -ha. Wordplay. Unintentional, but wordplay. Wait, isn't this room absolutely goddamn drenched in guys that are just dropping stuff and I'm at the bottom? I've made a terrible mistake. What do I do? Now, get through. Oh, Jesus. Okay, dokie. All right, so Green Path has a bunch of ambushes. Ugh. God, I nearly messed that up. Green Path has a bunch of ambushes that I'm going to have to look out for. I'm just going to try and avoid the slime. I don't know if it'll burn the the flower. Logically, because I won't take damage, it won't. But, you know, maybe there'll be some RP going on. It'll sting the flower or something. Oh, okay, right. Next up, we need to go left, down, right, down, left, down, left. I'm worried about, I remember those, the guys that came out the floor that were big bush guys. They were like surprise attacks. I'm really, really like leaning forward, tensed up right now. Okay, down and to the right. Yeah, these guys dash at you. Actually, I don't think I need to kill that guy, so it's a waste. There it is to the right. Made it through. Doing good. Doing good, guys. Worried about this, so I gotta be careful. Almost there, almost to the beast. Another one of these guys. I can one hit them, so it's not too bad. Magic is just kind of useful against them as sort of a defensive measure, but I can just hit them like that, back up. Be a little bit patient. Push on through. Making good progress. Near the beast now, near the beast now. There's the beast stand on the right. You can see these like little spikes. Kind of cool. Watch out. Ambushes. It's fine. Just take him out. I got soul right here. Where are we going? Left. Right? Yeah, left. And then down straight away almost. This is it, left through here. And then down almost straight away. I don't remember what you do. Okay, right. I'm just gonna take you out. I'm not worried. I'm not risking it. Straight down here, I'm good. Oh, okay. Next up, we need to head straight left as far as we can go. Oh, God! Just gonna keep moving. Okay. Whoa. Okay, okay. Left, left, left. Every sound that I hear when they come out freaks me out. Now, I think here I was supposed to bounce on people's heads. Yeah. But I could just fly across now. I think. I hope. There's spikes. There is spikes here. Don't burn the flower, thank you. I hope it didn't burn the flower. Let's check. It seems fine. Okay. Okay. And we're here, right? In the Queen's Gardens. We made it. We made it, guys. Now it's in the middle. We have to drop down here. Go over some spikes. Take a small drop and go left. Just not risk it. Okay. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Just avoid conflict. We made it. Next room. This could be really bad. 
I sucked at this. Please. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think I need to go left, dash, small jump, dash. Yes. <sighs> okay. Down and to the left and down again. What's in here? If we go left here. We just leave that room. That's fine. These things aren't too bad, right? No. They're just they're a one hit and they die. We're in the room right now. <gasps> it knocked me back, and as as soon as I did it, I saw what was happening and tried to dash. I tried to jump, and nothing activated that half second period where I can't control my character. It knocked me straight into that. Um, do you got a you got a third one? You got a third one, right? You have a third one, right? Destroyed again. Another rare and precious thing reduced to wilted stem. Jay does have a spare. But Lemon must know a precious sacred fragile flower it is. She did not want to part with it. But for her love, she would give all. <laughs> I feel like you've got infinite flowers. I feel like they're just like made of you. Alright, so I do triangle and up. Flower destroyed. Okay. It's, it doesn't work. Had to try, guys. They must have seen that coming, right? Pretty cool effect, though. Pretty useful. I'm back. Made it very far. Alright. That's where I fell down. We're in the room. Thank you, world. Thank you. <laughs> I That took way more attempts than it should have. I nearly did it first try, guys. I was like, I must have been like 40 minutes into the recording. We're now like 40 minutes later. And I beat it. It must have been my like my eighth try that I've just done it on. I nearly beat it my first try, and I just I, I in fact I basically did. I just I defeated myself. So yes, life is pain. Now, as you saw there, this little mantis character appeared when we placed the flower. Here sleeps the traitor's child. Um, don't tell me that's it. That's not. That's not it. Hello. So it shows the little, oh, thanks for the flowers, guy. He's like, that's it. Doesn't say anything. No? And it's not in my inventory anymore. Yeah, it's gone. So I have to go back to her and be like, I did it. You're welcome. She loved that little, little mantis who looked kind of really not like his dad at all. Very gangly and, and weak's not the right word, but... Not like the father at all. Big, burly, and well infected. Now, if I teleport back to here, check out this speed running technique. We're back at her. What does she say? I did it. I did it. Me? Lemur! You've done this thing. Is it possible? This world's cruelty, I'd never. I thought it overwhelming, but Lemur, such great compassion. That she's love would know her partner's heart even aeons past. Is it that, Lemur? Such grief can end? Chi can end? Ooh, and I, dear love. Chi too can end. I got the achievement Solace. My reward? A single fragment 
<laughs> of a mask. <laughs> Alright, that was quite painful, but a very interesting and, you know, pretty cool challenge to go back through the areas that you already knew to uh, enjoy them again with such, like, tenseness um, and added difficulty which you wouldn't expect in areas like where you're one-shotting enemies and passing through it really easily. But there you go, a little side story. Um, the child of the Mantis Lord, the leader of the Mantis Lord, which we learn about, actually fine and even got uh, a grave dedicated to it. So it clearly was like a humble soul, nothing like the father, but he didn't look like a warrior, did it? Not at all. And not to mention um, the fact that, you know, this weird sort of love between the two characters that wasn't allowed, that was shunned. I wonder why she was here, though. Is it just in her character to be sort of like a graveyard dweller? Or has she gone here because of her grief? I don't know. I don't see any information about either of these characters in the journal either. Um, I just had a scroll through here and I don't see anything, so no new information there. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. There's an interesting little side story there today. Uh, it did take me through an area very close to the final seal, and I actually saw Quirrell still there, still standing, looking inside. So maybe next episode is what we'll do. Uh, we'll go check that out, go see Quirrell, and uh, go defeat final seal. And then also, maybe the Grim Troop thing will happen at that point. Maybe I've actually made whatever I was supposed to start occur. Otherwise, you guys let me know in the comments. But thank you very much for watching. See you next time.